The solution to all of your problems is our deen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم Today your, your religion has been completed and perfected. Any problem, any trial, any tribulation, any hardship that you ever face in your life, you will find the full answer in the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You want answers? Come to the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Call out to Allah. Cry to Him. Don't underestimate. And when something comes to you, you have no control over. And it is a calamity. First things first, thank Allah. Your Lord does not forget. Your Lord does not forget your harm. He doesn't forget your pain. He doesn't forget when you are alone. He doesn't forget when no one had your back. Your Lord does not forget you. He has not forgotten. It could feel that way. And it's very painful to feel that way. But your Lord does not forget. Your Lord has not forgotten. That doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. That doesn't mean that we don't feel pain. That simply means that we remember that Allah has not forgotten us, even when everybody else has forgotten us. Don't worry about what people think of you, because people will never be satisfied. They will never be satisfied. No matter what you do, they will stab you in the back. Some of your best friends will let you down at some point. It's expected. They are human too. How many a time, brothers and sisters, have we found ourselves in a situation where years went by, we told ourselves, if that didn't happen, we wouldn't have this today. You just need to be patient, brothers and sisters. Don't start becoming enraged. Hold back your tongue from constantly complaining. When you complain, you being relieved of your difficulties are delayed. Subhanallah. However, you're patient, right? You hold back your tongue from constantly complaining and you seek forgiveness from Allah Azza wa Jal. You being relieved, inshaAllah ta'ala, is around the corner. There's a light in the end of the tunnel, brothers and sisters. My brothers, my sisters, Islam is a religion based on the mercy of Allah. You want evidence? When you start the Quran, what do you say? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. If Allah wanted, He could have chosen any other names. When you start the Quran, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Ar Rahmanir Rahim, Subhanallah. Mercy, mercy, forgiveness, kindness. Allah is magnificent, Allah is unique, Allah is most loving, Allah is most kind, Allah is most compassionate. All of that we hear much more than anything else. Religion is based on the mercy of Allah. Yes, the punishment of Allah is the truth. But did you seek forgiveness? If the answer is yes, don't worry. Allah won't punish you. Allah's not a liar. Allah says those who repented, I don't punish them. None of it's going with you. There are two. <laughs> there are two things that are going to your grave. You and your deeds. That's it. You can amass the whole entire world if you wanted. The moment you die, it goes back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Enjoy as much of this life as you want. It's okay. As long as it is halal, brothers and sisters, you can have whatever you want from this life. You can build yourself golden palaces in this world if you like. If it's permissible and you've earned it halal, enjoy it halal. Bismillah. But know that you're not taking a damn bit of it with you. Let's seek the forgiveness of Allah. Let's forgive others as well. You don't necessarily have to forget what happened. You're just a human being. But at the same time, you will always be a content person because you've let it go. And you know in your heart, I don't hold things, it's fine. I don't have a spot in my heart to hold things against those who've said or did things against me because I ultimately just want Jannah. It's a very high level of thinking. Trust Allah, trust Him. Do your best as a human. Beyond that, you can't do. You have to try your best and leave the rest in the hands of Allah. Don't become depressed. Trust Allah. Allah knows He planned it for you before you were born. He knew it was going to come in your direction. He just wants to watch. What's your reaction and what are you going to do? That's Allah. Things do not go according to our plan. Every one of us, without a single exception, would have faced things in their lives that did not go according to the way they wanted it to go. There is no exception. It's a challenge. Nobody can say, everything in my life happened exactly per my plan. Never. Not one person. It goes to show you are weak, oh man. You can plan. Allah has a bigger plan. 
Allah has a better plan. Allah knows what's good for you. He knows what's bad for you. Sometimes he plans for something you think is very, very bad for you. But if you go back to the manuscript in order to know how to look at it, it will be the most positive thing that ever happened in your life. Subhanallah. A lot of time what happens when things start going wrong, right? We start sitting around feeling sorry for ourselves. Sahih. What did the Messenger of tell us? To help us overcome this sadness. Don't say, if only I did this and only I did that. And uh, No. Say, Allah decreed this, get up and keep it moving, my brothers and my sisters. Again, from the names of Allah. Right? Is what? Al-Hakim. Alaysa Allahu bi ahkam al-Hakimin. Isn't Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most wise, my brothers and my sisters? Everything happens for a reason. Whether we see the good in it or not. Do not let your past bog you down. No matter what you've done in the past, the past is the past. Look at where you are today. You cannot keep on talking about the past suffering that you had and making yourself depressed here. Leave it. The sins you've committed in the past, they're gone. You asked Allah's forgiveness once it was wiped out. You are encouraged to repeat repentance so that your status can be elevated. Not because you are doubting Allah's forgiveness. Remember this. Paradise is full of sinners who repented. You and I, may Allah grant us Jannah. You don't just look at the pious man and think to yourself, you know what? That guy is going to go to Jannah. Yes, he may. May Allah grant him. But you look at the sinners and you tell yourself, I'm not going to judge this guy because you know what? If he repents today, he's going to be cleaner than me. So I'm going to have hope that he will repent and so should I. And I have hope in Jannah. Jannah was made for you and I. So the Prophet Muhammad says, People will continue to remain upon goodness and earn the mercy of Allah for as long as they don't commit open sin and they're not proud about their sins. You committed a sin. The first thing you need to do, admit it's a sin. Allahu Akbar. Admit this is sinful. And then keep it hidden. Respect yourself. Keep it hidden. Then turn to Allah. Ask Allah, oh Allah, I regret what I did. I shouldn't have done this. I seek your forgiveness. I won't do it again. Once you say that sincerely, Wallahi, it is wiped out. Now, shaitan comes and makes you say, it can't have been that easy. You're not forgiven. You can't just be forgiven like that. Allah says, don't doubt my mercy. Do not doubt my mercy. You're a believer. You sought forgiveness. It's forgiven. But now improve yourself. Trust Allah. He knows. Trust your maker. He knows what he's doing. And don't say, why are you not listening to me? He heard you. He knows. He knows when the time is right. He knows what is better for you. A Muslim should not believe in something called impossible. Everything is possible with a dua. You just have to believe. Call on to Allah Azza wa Invoke Him. Why do you have yaqeen, certainty that He's going to respond back to you? Allah Azza wa will open this door that you thought was never made without a key. Is the wall made with a key, brothers and sisters? Imagine we had a door like that that can never open. Allah Azza wa will open it. You thought it was made without a key and you just completely lost hope. And sometimes Allah Azza wa doesn't accept your dua straight away. Because Allah Azza wa knows that that's not the best thing for you at the time. But in fact, at a later time it is best for you. Wallahi, only Allah knows. Only Allah knows. You can plan, Allah can let the plan go ahead. But you can plan, Allah can change the plan. You can think, Allah knows and He is the only one who knows what will happen tomorrow. So develop your relation with Allah.